All right. Well, welcome everyone. I'm Alicia, Communications Director at DEED. Great to have all of you with us today. We always appreciate folks joining us. Just a couple of housekeeping items. Um, please do keep your devices muted. It helps mitigate echoes. If you have questions, uh, save them for the end or put them in the chat. Or um, you can just uh, reach out to Dawn if you have any issues with tech, and I'll put her name and email address in the chat box. So with that, we've got some information to share today, and I'll turn it over to our Commissioner Kevin McKinnon. Well, thanks, Alicia, and good morning. Thanks to all of you for being here uh, with us today for a look at our April uh, employment data. Uh, the big takeaways, Minnesota em employers added 4,500 jobs last month and our labor force grew uh, by more than 3,600 people. Uh, just some quick highlights from the numbers being released today. Uh, the unemployment rate uh, remained uh, in April at 2.8%. Uh, that increase in the number of people in the labor force bumped our uh, labor force particip participation rate up one-tenth of a percentage point to 68.1%. Nationally, uh, the unemployment rate ticked down one tenth of a percent to 3.4, uh, and U.S. labor force participation rate remained at 62.6 percent. So, our 4,500 jobs on a seasonally adjusted basis are up 0.2 uh, percent from March to April. Uh, of that, uh, the private sector gained 4,400 jobs, also 0.2 uh, percent, uh, which mirrors U.S. job growth. Uh, U.S. Uh, total non-farm employment increased by over 250,000 jobs, 0.2%, uh, uh, and the U.S. private sector gained 230,000 jobs, up also 0.2%. The good news is that uh, our labor force grew by uh, over 3,600 people uh, over the month, bringing our state's total labor force to almost uh, 3.1 million people uh, in April. The labor force is still uh, about a little over 40,000 people smaller than it was in February of 2020 when the labor force participation rate was uh, closer to 70% at 69.9. Uh, but we continue to work on uh, trying to get more people into the labor market. So now uh, I'm going to hand things off to uh, Angelina Wynn, our Labor Market Information Office Director. Angelina. Thank you, Commissioner. Hi, everyone. Minnesota's job growth is steadily climbing towards pre-pandemic level. Uh, next slide, please, Alicia. So in April, our job growth happened in six super sectors. Construction gained 700 jobs, which is a 0.5% increase. Trade, transportation, and utilities gained 2,800 jobs, also 0.5% increase. Educational and health services gained 1,300 jobs, a 0.2% increase. Leisure and hospitality gained 1,900 jobs, 0.7% <clears throat> increase. Information gained 200 jobs, 0.4% growth, and government gained 100 jobs, although that was um, a 0% change. Two super sectors did not change over the month, and they are mining and logging and other services. Three super sectors saw um, a small loss, um, and they are manufacturing. Uh, they lost 700 jobs or a 0.2% loss. Financial activities lost 700 jobs as well, 0.4% uh, loss. And professional and business services lost 1,100 jobs or a 0.3% decrease. Um, overall, positive job growth and the same unemployment rates of 2.8% um, indicate a positive labor force growth. Next slide, please. Our labor force size is inching towards 3.09 million workers. Uh, the number of employed increase 3,523 people over the month, and the number of unemployed increased by 100, 111 people over the month. Um, our labor force size and labor force participation rates are lower than they were pre-pandemic due to our aging population and the accelerated retirements we saw in 2020 and 2021. Over the last year, our labor force size has been steadily increasing and our participation rate has held steady and remains higher than the national rate. Next slide, please. Over the year, Minnesota gained almost 43,500 jobs uh, or a 1.5% growth. Our private sector gained 
a little more than 35,000 jobs or a 1.4% growth. Um, in comparison, the US uh, job growth was 2.6% over the year and the private sector also grew 2.6% over the year. Most of, most of the sectors posted positive annual growth uh, in Minnesota. Um, leisure and hospitality continue to post the largest growth of all the super sectors, up almost 15,000 jobs, and again, again, outpaced the national rate 6% um, in Minnesota versus 5.6% for the U.S. Education and health services continue to be the second largest over the year grower, up uh, a little more than 13,000 jobs or a 2.4% growth, and mostly this was driven by um, growth in nursing and residential care facilities and healthcare and social assistance. Information gained almost 2,000 jobs, uh, a whopping 4.2%, which is a big jump for the super sector. And government grew um, almost 8,500 jobs or 2.0% uh, change. Three super sectors experienced negative or no growth over the year. Um, mining and logging lost 108 jobs, which is a 1.7% loss. Financial activities lost a little more than um, 1,100 jobs or a 0.6% loss, and other services did not change um, at all over the year for Minnesota. Next slide, please. Average hourly wages for all private sector workers decreased 61 cents to $35.90 over the month in Minnesota, um, but over the year, Average hourly earnings increase $1.70, which is a 5% growth, and that is slightly higher than the inflation rate of 4.9%. Nationally, the private sector wages grew 54 cents over the month and increased 5.1% over the year. Um, wage growth in the sectors that were hardest hit by the pandemic, like retail, um, food services, and drinking places that raised their wages to attract workers between 2021 and 2022, um, now we're seeing that growth slowing down. Um, so, but overall, on the whole, Minnesota's wage growth is now um, beating inflation a little bit. And Elisa, back to you. All right, thank you so much, everyone. We're having a few technical difficulties, uh, but thanks for bearing with us. We would now like to open the floor for any questions that uh, folks in the media might have. And Kevin will try to rejoin us. Um, he's just having some, some technical issues today. So any questions from the press? Evita, over to you, please. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Um, a couple questions. First of all, um, were the March jobs numbers revised or did they stay steady? And then second, um, can you put in perspective a little bit about this labor force increase we saw this last month? Um, is it like one of the biggest monthly increases we've seen in a while? And any thoughts about what may be uh, bringing more people and like or who may be coming back into the labor force or um, and why they may be re-entering or entering for the first time too, I guess. Yeah, so your first question um, over the month changes. So it was revised a little bit, um, but very, very small. It's It went down um, by 0.05%. So that's about um, 1,400 jobs uh, revision. And your second question about um, labor force growth, this is normal growth and thankfully steady uh, growth that we've seen. Um, we don't have any insights about like who the workers are that are uh, joining the labor force. Um, yeah, this is this is normal, small change that we've been seeing um, in previous months as well. And then any thoughts about like what may have like turned things around between March and April, right? Because March we saw like a decrease in jobs 
Um, and now April, we're back up. Um, is it a seasonal, like, you know, uh, reflection of like Minnesota's region seasonal economy? Or what do you think may have like switched between March and April? Yeah, so when the the change is minor, like we've been seeing, um, I would say that's due to normal data fluctuations. Um, again, next month, our April numbers will be revised again. So um, really uh, going little small changes up and down is is normal. So no, no insights about what had happened uh, between, you know, last month and this month. Okay. Great. Thank you, Angelina. Any other questions? Or Kavita, any uh, additional follow on or follow up from you? Yeah, Oops. sure. Um, you know, at the same time, again, we have been hearing more about like these uh, corporate layoffs, right? Um, and uh, not just corporations, but also other kinds of um, smaller companies as well. Um, are you seeing that being reflected anywhere in the data? Um, you know, or is that is it just not sizable enough to really make an impact yet? Kavita, uh, this is Kevin. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, great. Sorry, I, I'm not going to turn my camera on. I'm having some technical issues here, but um, you know, generally, uh, right now, what we're seeing um, in uh, our unemployment insurance program as well as uh, our rapid response team, which does deal with uh, <clears throat> responding to uh, a lot of the uh, layoffs and more notices, et cetera, that, that we would receive. Uh, a lot of what we're seeing is very similar to um, the volume uh, and the numbers that we'd see in 2018, 2019 timeframe. Um, <clears throat> I think on your last question, you did mention something about seasonality uh, to uh, some of our, uh, particularly our unemployment uh, area. Uh, and yes, we are one of the most seasonal uh, in the country and of course had a little bit of a late um, uh, uh, spring. And, and so, um, but generally the trend lines that we're seeing in, in both those other programs uh are not indicating uh that it that it's outside of the norm right now got it so it seems like these higher interest rates are not like uh keeping employers in minnesota from their appetite to hire to hire there still uh, seems to be a pretty healthy appetite for uh for for more workers so i would say that that is accurate um particularly to what we are seeing uh and and of course what we see uh these job numbers of course are estimates they're backward looking uh similarly with um in in some cases the other programs also um uh take time to uh uh, uh, uh with upticks in in different things so um, the data that we're seeing uh, currently uh, uh, really indicates that uh, we're on par with with you know sort of pre-pandemic numbers. Thank you, Commissioner. Are there any other questions that we can answer today? We always appreciate having folks join us. Thanks. Well, uh, as always, I welcome any follow up. If, if you have follow up questions, you can reach out to me by email. Happy to take those. Happy to reconnect with Angelina or Commissioner uh, for any additional uh, questions you might have after we turn off. But otherwise, I'll just turn it back to Commissioner McKinnon for some closing thoughts. Well, again, thank you, Alicia, and thanks to the media um, who participated this morning. Really want to stress that. Uh, the labor force uh, growth that we saw in April, you, uh, while it's uh, just over 3,600 people, everyone in the labor force does make a difference, and it's really great news. Um, 
uh, during this tight labor market. We continue to monitor uh, and uh, we'll look forward to getting back with you uh, uh, next month when we get uh, new data. So thank you all for participating. Uh, and again, any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.